Female, 75 years old, had right shoulder pain for five years. She also felt crepitus in her shoulder. Physical examination showed good range of motion and good rotator cuff function. The X-ray showed arthritic change of glenohumeral joint and good AHI. The MRI showed that rotator cuff still intact. With OA of glenohumeral joint and intact cuff, anatomic total shoulder arthroplasty is indicated. With LT osteotomy, we can aim for bone-to-bone -bone healing of the subscapularis. Check the version and then cut the head. Here we used a hybrid glenoid with the cementless central peg and peripheral cemented peg. Trial the appropriate size of head and check with fluoroscopy. Do not use too big stem to prevent stress fracture and stress sheedling. Another key to make the stem fit is putting medial bone graft. One of the key to success total shoulder replacement is repairing the subscapularis. With this technique, we have not just a horizontal suture, but also an oblique X suture.
With propitiated stem size, medial bone graft, we can achieve three-point fixation and created valgus stem, and the head should not be too proud. With good subscapularis repair, three-point fixation of stem and appropriated head size, we can achieve good clinical and stable total shoulder replacement.